Where do I move in this world? Could you please tell me what the hell I'm doing for it? Bring me to my knees. Today's so video is absolutely ageless. It's basically me creating a capsule wardrobe and showing you guys how I'm going to elevate my wardrobe for the current season. Pieces that I love. Showing you guys outfit inspo on how I style these pieces. I think it would be best to honestly just go through the pieces and show you guys looks in between of how I would style them um, using only the stuff that's on the rack as well as the shoes that are on the floor that I will show you guys and yeah let's just have a good time. If you guys are new I would absolutely love if you guys subscribe because I do styling and lifestyle videos weekly and also head over to my TikTok because I'm getting dressed every single day on there for the year of 2022. That's 365 outfits. One thing that you absolutely want to do when you're creating a capsule wardrobe or trying to curate your wardrobe to make it faster to get ready in the morning or just look amazing is to kind of stick to a color palette. I know that can sound kind of limiting, but what I've noticed, especially when I pack for trips or I just don't know what to wear, I tend to gravitate towards pieces that are in the same type of color story, whatever that may be, um, just because you'll know that this will go with that and that will go with this and you can mix it up and everything just has like a multi-purpose, multi-function. You're going to get more wear out of your pieces, period. Secondly, know what to thrift and know what to purchase new. But there are a few things that I personally would purchase new over thrifted. I think that denim is one of the best things that you can thrift because I just think that vintage denim just lasts a lot longer. One thing that I would personally do new though is any type of undergarment or tight. I just think that wearing proper undergarments and having like the proper things that are brand new, tailored to your body, have not been worn before, is the best way to go. Depends on who you ask, but I personally love the look of a vintage designer bag or just a vintage bag, period. You actually save money buying vintage over buying new. And honestly, I think the quality is just a little bit better on older pieces versus some of the newer ones. So let's get into the nitty gritty. First thing you absolutely need in your wardrobe. A good turtleneck. This one is from Aritzia. It's Wilfred, size small. You guys can see the color story that I'm working with. It's a lot of like just simple blacks, whites, sleeves are just a little bit flared. I find that a cropped little turtleneck works best for my body shape and it's something I feel the most confident in. But I love this. You can wear this with jeans, yoga pants, you name it. It's always a classic. Moving on to this moment right here. I actually thrifted this. This is an Ermene Gildo Zegna shirt in an extra large made in Italy. And I know that is a very good designer brand. It's also just a beautiful shirt. I love an oversized button up. I think you can't go wrong. This was thrifted. And I think men's shirts should be thrifted. I think that they look amazing. Again, you could dress it casually, dress it dressy. It's a question I ask myself a lot when I'm buying things. Can I wear this in different occasions? And if the answer is yes, Normally I buy it. Sorry guys, the light goes in and out a lot in this room, but these are my favorite denim of all time. These are my Levi's 505s. I thrifted these a while ago and honestly my only regret about them is that I should not have cut them this short. I wanted them to be more like a cropped ankle length, which is very cute, but I kind of wish that they kissed the floor. I tend to like gravitate towards pants that have a more wide leg fit and are a little bit more cinched in the waist. And that's another tip I have for you guys. If you know that a fit works for you, keep doing it. You can repeat it, it's okay. You don't have to go a, a totally different way. This is a new item in my closet. It is the Reformation Glenna Cashmere Top. And the reason why I brought this in here is not only it's like a beautiful flattering top that you could dress up or dress down is, think about the fabrics that you're bringing into your capsule wardrobe. This is cashmere, so you know it's gonna be warm. You know it's gonna stand the test of time as long as it's taken care of. And um, it's a really good high quality fabric. This is just so beautiful. I know I'm going to have this forever. Okay, so here I have a little white tee. This one is from Brandy Melville and it is quite old, but I just love a good fitting white tee. Leather. Well, these are faux leather, but these are the Aritzia Valerie pant. I styled these a number of different ways already. I tried the Molina pants and they weren't honestly my favorite on my body type. I think my legs are just a tad too short and the rise is just a tad too high. I noticed that the most flattering denim on myself is ones that just 
kind of like ones that just touch my belly button and are a little bit on the lower side. So these are so nice. They're just the most high quality faux leather. And I know that Aritzia faux leathers wash really well because I have a pair of Daria leggings that I've had forever and they still look brand new. Which brings me to my next Aritzia leather. This just happens to be leather, but I think a good mini skirt is just so perfect for anybody's wardrobe. If that's like your thing, you obviously can go with a longer skirt. But this is one of my favorites. It's a Babaton faux leather skirt made of the same um, faux leather as these pants. And I just think a good black skirt, again, could be worn with a button up, a little t-shirt, Shirt, heels sneakers you name it is absolutely wonderful the last like bottom I have is these lovely yoga pants um, I have the Lululemon Align yoga pants and then I also have these Brandy Melville ones that are cotton honestly I've seen really good pairs at Target I've seen really good pairs at Aerie I will try to link um, some other styles in the description box but I think a good high-waisted pair of black yoga pants or flared leggings whatever you want to call them is like the newer more elevated basic versus leggings and what i love about these is that you really can dress them up or dress them down i think that they look a lot more put together and sophisticated versus your average leggings so if you don't have a pair of these yet or you haven't brought them out from the back of your closet do it <laughs> okay so the camera died but we're back where was i yes yoga pants are great one of the two coats i have here First is this Everlane wool camel coat. I wear this all the time and it's just so beautiful. I think this color is just such a classic and a timeless piece, which is why I opted for a camel color versus a black or a bright color. Cause I think that this is just classic for this type of pea coat type of silhouette. Can you tell I love leather? So this is a vintage leather jacket from my mom. Um, this is like really old Holt Renfro. It's actually navy, but I'm gonna consider it black in terms of the stuff I have here. But I think a good fitting leather jacket is just so good for your capsule wardrobe because again, we style a number of different ways. Think that they are absolutely timeless and it's something I would spend more money on um, because it's definitely splurge worthy. I have a baseball cap here. And this goes with like accessories. Um, you can obviously switch this out with a beanie, but I wear baseball caps all the time because first thing, it shields me from the sun, sun protection. Secondly, I think it just adds that bit of style to your outfit, adds that extra something that sometimes is often missing when it goes into styling. You really have to think about your accessories. I have some scarf options. First is this oversized scarf. I've worn this a lot already. And then I also crocheted this little like neck snood gator thing, which kind of looks like a turtleneck. Um, so you can go with whatever you want. I decided to stick to the same neutral color story, but I just want to show you guys some options because I really do think that they can make or break a look. Speaking of more accessories, I have these sunglasses. These are my favorite sunglasses of all time and they were really inexpensive. They are from Princess Polly, just have this like 90s shape and I found them on Amazon for even cheaper. So I will link those. And then one other like accessory type of thing I'm trying out again, is the Blair Waldorf headband. I think that this can really dress up a look. So really consider your accessories when you're creating a capsule wardrobe because I think something like this is timeless. At the same time, kind of trendy right now. Um, but I don't think you'll ever regret wearing something like this, especially in a classic color. Have to give an honorable mention again to the bags. Obviously we have a classic flat bag here and then we have another really nice classic silhouette i think investing in purses in neutral colors is probably your best way if you're really going to have only a few another way to elevate your wardrobe is this sounds silly but to make sure that your shoes are clean um, or at least take care of your shoes um, when you are wearing a bright white sneaker for the most part, I think it just looks a lot more elevated. I have this brand new pair of Reebok Classics. And then I thrifted these boots. A taller boot in a classic silhouette is something that I didn't have in my closet. And it's definitely a classic. These are Franco Sardo boots I thrifted for $16. And I've been wearing them so much. And the reason why I think a higher calf boot, but not super high, is really essential in this capsule wardrobe I curated is mainly because 
It can go with skirts. It can go under wider pants. Honestly, you will have these for a long time. I have said this so many times, not a heels girl, but I think it is important to have a good pair of well-fitting, well-constructed heels. I got these on sale. These are Isabelle Morant, and you guys can see. I mean, I don't think cost always means better, but these were $945. I got them for $230, I believe. I've worn both designer heels and obviously like very inexpensive heels. And I have to say, don't know if it's a placebo effect, but there's something just, I guess because these are most, most heels that are expensive are constructed in Italy. And I think there's just a way that they make their shoes. There's something about them. Let's talk about this. This is a hoodie. I'm obsessed with it was thrifted it is a champion hoodie from the men's section these you absolutely do not you spend any money on I mean you do you spend a little money on but you don't have to spend a ton of money on them I think that all of my favorite hoodies by far are from the thrift store don't be fooled by any like super expensive hoodies like some I have really really expensive hoodies and streetwear and I have like hoodies that I found like this for like four dollars and I always go and veer towards the ones that are less expensive and that are vintage and that are already worn in do you guys like these styling videos please let me know hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll catch you in the next one bye tell me honestly if I wasn't meant to be what I see when I dream it's a big big world out there